Hi, this is Stephen from Owner Disown, and uh, today we're going to be looking at some smart insoles for your shoes. Help you navigate, keep track of your steps. Let's take a look at it now. So yeah, this is an exciting product. It's the, uh, the world's first haptic feedback footwear made by uh, Lecal. Um, you can buy it for about a hundred dollars, and uh, it's exciting. I mean, we're getting smart everything these days. You know, whether it's smart gloves, smart hats, these fit in your shoes. You can um, they sync with your um, your phone by Bluetooth. Uh, there's a companion app. So let's uh, take a look at what it says on the box. So we navigate. You can navigate with these shoes. Um, supports walking, cycling, driving, public transport. Uh, route selection based on calories burned, fastest time, shortest distance. You can create custom routes um, or trails. You can uh, tag your favorite locations, share locations and routes with other people. And you can uh, stay fit, it says here, so you can track your steps, calories burned, distance covered, set fitness goals and customize workouts. You can uh, record milestones, fitness activity over time and let your footwear be your fitness coach. So, uh, of course, it's a, it's a hands-free, um, audio-free interaction. It uh, works by a bit of haptic feedback um, on the, the soles of your shoe. Uh, well, in the insoles here, they vibrate, and there's a little GPS module that uh, fits inside there. And, of course, you've got a companion app here, which runs on your phone. So let's uh, open the box and see what it looks like. There's a nice, nice red box. Look. look at that. Now they come in, uh, let's see, this is US size 9 to 12 for men, which is UK 8 to 11. And uh, um, of course you've got uh, uh, for women uh, in the UK, 9.5 to 10.5 for, for women. That's quite big, isn't it? <laughs> big, big women's feet or 11 to 12 for uh, women. That's very strange. But anyway, you can get them different sizes, so don't worry about it. These are the little GPS modules here. Pretty well made. It's, of course, two of them. You get a little charging uh, pod for your uh, your GPS things. These things will uh, fit inside the uh, here, and there's a micro USB slot there to charge that up. All right, so we're going to put these to the test. See how it works. Uh, you know, it's it's a bit different. You know, it'd be nice to walk around uh, without your phone, perhaps if you want to you know turn left and right on a, a destination to see if uh, if that works. And it'd be interesting. So I've tested out these uh, Lecal GPS pods on these shoe uh, on these uh, soles that they come with, and I'm quite impressed. I must say, um, I took them out for a walk. I counted 750 steps, and I'm uh, not the best at counting. I'm sure I probably missed a couple of steps there. However, these measured 748 steps, and I compared it to uh, my uh, Fitbit and my uh, Samsung Gear S2. And the problem with these watch wearing ones. You know, doing that counts as like 20 steps. You know, you don't get up with this. So um, they actually fit into the base of the soles here and you can trim the soles with these markings here to fit your shoes. Um, or alternatively, you do have these buckles which they, uh, they slot into and these attach to the top of your shoe. So then you can tie your laces around and it, uh, that works pretty good there as well. Then of course you get two of those. So. As I say, these measured 748 steps, Fitbit 810, Gear S2 measured uh, um, 713. So these guys were way off. These were bang on. So if you want accuracy, this is a good, uh, good value proposition. Uh, not only do they measure your steps, but of course they work out your distance traveled and your calories burned. And it all syncs flawlessly with your, your app. Now you can use it um, them uh, without your phone. You can leave your phone behind and uh, you know, when you come back later, you can you sync it all up and it all goes back into the app. So that works great. You do have a, an offline mode, so you don't need a cellular signal or internet service or anything like that. And these babies still work, uh, keeping track of your, 
your, your steps and your, of course, and your GPS too. So that works great. So you can use them like in the wilderness if you're out exploring somewhere, you know, and you get lost. You can uh, navigate back to where you were. And I think that, that's, uh, that's invaluable too, isn't it? And I think it's also a good benefit too. These, these things are more susceptible to getting banged into posts or door frames and things. These are, these are pretty solid and they're well protected, certainly in the soles. And I think even, even on here, to be honest, um, I think uh, on the top of your shoe, they're not going to take any impacts. And uh, I don't see any areas where water can get in. So I think that's, you know, if it's raining, that's perfectly, that's great too. Um, they sync it with uh, Google Fit and uh, Apple Health. So that's, uh, that's good to know. You can uh, calculate uh, waypoints and points of interest on the, on the app and uh, navigate uh, to them. Now, what I did quite like, it's quite a strange thing for us. When you go out navigating, you, um, of course, you get the app out and you have to uh, tell it which pod's on your left and right foot. So you do that and then you're off walking. And it's quite strange. You don't have your phone out like you normally do, looking around like an idiot. Uh, if your foot does vibrate. Right foot to turn right, left foot vibrates to turn left. And when you get close to your destination, um, both feet vibrate. Uh, so you, that works, works pretty well. But it is strange not having to hold your phone. Now, it could be pretty useful when you're out clubbing and you've had about uh, 10 pints of beer and you're getting a bit lost and you get your phone, don't want to get your phone out and get mugged. These will quite work uh, well to get you back home. So anyway, I think it's a, for $99, I think it's a, it's a worthwhile investment. Uh, I got my uh, these on my Amazon. Uh, I put a little link in the description below. Uh, so thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like it, and uh, sub if you uh, like to see some more of my videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.